Alright, hope everybody's doing well. The last time I went to the Goodwill bins, I had a great uh, idea. Get some more grab bags. So I bought two of them, three dollars a piece. Uh, the regular vinyl is a dollar twenty-nine each, and um, they haven't moved that for a very, very long time. So what I did was I went to that particular section first, went through, found one record that I had to have, and a, a possibility in the forty-fives. Um, it was a very common one. It was uh, the left bank, uh, Rene. Um, and I wasn't sure if I already had a copy of that, so I threw that one back. Didn't have the right sleeve, so I said, you know what, eh. So I just bought the one record there, and then what I did was everything that was broken, so broken 45s, ripped covers, things that were missing and ripped, I just put that all around the store that they could take that away and there'd be less. And there were still plenty of people that dig through the records even though the leftovers are the leftovers are leftovers. But that being said, people will not touch these grab bags with a 10 foot pole. But mind you, these are only three dollars each. It only takes one record that you would never have listened to otherwise um, to uh, make the whole bag worthwhile. So one of them is a, a a moderate sized bag and one of them is an insanely sized bag but before we get into that I picked up one cassette here if you remember my Bruce Springsteen pickups a while back ago I got those uh, flats you know for store displays and I framed one or two of them and I picked up a Bruce Springsteen cassette there born in the USA so I thought it might be a good uh, thing to display with that I threw back a George Harrison cassette that had a little bit of a discoloration to the the the, the cover but uh, anyway didn't really need to have that I'm not a huge Harrison fan but you know somebody should have grabbed that you know for whatever it costs and weight here two two twenty nine or two seventy nine a pound so this could have been fifty cents quarter I, I really don't remember what these things cost here so let's get into the first record here that I grabbed and this is not in great condition here I might be able to clean off some of it um, there's a piece of tape there that I can either uh, use our favorite um, lighter fluid. couple of stickers here. Uh, this is an ex-library from the Monmouth Public Library. And this is Steve Winwood back in the High Life. Um, it was still there. There was another one that was in a different row. And I'm not sure if this was a recent uh, one that came out, but I grabbed it. People said that's good, but they were kind of concerned about the condition being ex-library. It's got higher love and uh, a lot of other good stuff on here, finer things. Uh, good stuff in there, back in the high life again, you know. Uh, and the vinyl itself, a lot of these library ones were actually relatively good condition. I didn't realize there's kind of a, I want to say a scratch line, but um, there are some kind of indentations there. It's hard to tell, but uh, again, um, I figured for $1.29 I'll give that a shot. It looks like the first side A was probably played uh, the most, and then side B. Um, but again, $1.29, I'll clean that up and give that a shot, and so it lets technically rock. Some people will just say it's easily listening or whatever, but or or what do you call it, adult contemporary, that sort of thing. So we'll start off with a smaller grab bag here, and I picked this one up because of the record that was on top. You know, I don't really sweat it so much, people say you can't see what's in these things. And yes, you can, if you do your homework, you know. The more homework you do, the less you're going to want the bag. You know, so let's get into bag number one here. I'm going to just cut these open here because that's just easiest. This one says nice and easy, and it says it's a KBIG collection, KBIG or whatever. So is that a radio station? I'm not really sure. Whether it's in there or a good condition, I don't know. Let's try to get some sort of way to open this because I've got a lot of LPs to get through here. Most of them are just going to be what we call cannon fodder, uh, stuff that I have to get rid of afterwards. You know, recycle the covers. If you watch the InGroove's last video, or one of their later videos showing uh, how they operate their record store. They have a blue bin outside and it has plenty of recycled um, uh, media in there. So um, uh, that's, uh, you know, he said Lawrence Welk and Montavani, that's their, that's their, that's the, you know, I guess if you went by the in-group and looked in there, you could find a bunch of uh, free albums there, but uh, um, I'm not in Arizona. And then I was watching uh, Noble Records, they just did a recent, recent record on slabbing, and I just made a joke about what about these uh, junky albums. As I said, when you go to a record store, um, some of these things are anywhere between $1 and $10. So it behooves you to just take a, a chance on these things. But this is uh, nice and easy, a K-Big collection. And then this one here is the K-Big Singers, uh, featuring Sally Stevens, Vanjie Carmichael, Jim Haas, Jackie Ward, Gene Merlino, uh, Mitch Gordon, and arranged and conducted by Lex uh, De Azevedo. Know nothing about this here, so we'll have to see what this is here. Now it looks like it's actually in there. 
and it's in mint condition. So that is probably, you know, the best record there. They didn't do that on purpose, mind you. They just they just take whatever is left over and throw it in here. We got Mitch Miller's Greatest Sing-Alongs. We don't need to go bomb that one. We'll go past some of these really quickly here. This one here is Spirituals, Frank Boggs Spirituals. Again, I'm not sure how I'm going to get rid of these here if I decide not to keep them. We have a man and a woman original motion picture uh, soundtrack by Francis Lai, or Lay, Grand Prize winner 1966 Can Con Film, Film Festival. And we've got uh, something, uh, uh, yuck. Absolutely yuck, and it smells like yuck too. Um, Bobby V, so basically I've got to throw that directly in. So there's my garbage pile right there. Then we got something in a ripped piece of paper here. We got some sort of hi-fi, solid and raunchy. Bill Black's combo, and unfortunately that looks like it was used to polish the floor. Um, so that goes in the garbage pile. Now some of these papers, if they don't reek, I can use them as packing material. So we'll maybe let those air out for a while somewhere. Then we have the Lord's Prayer. I think some, I don't know if my mom had that or somebody had that. I really do not know. Uh, Columbia Masterworks. I actually have, I think, a... Um, a uh, what do you call it? Uh, not for mica. Uh, you know, um, the same stuff that um, clipboards are made out of. I've got one of those uh, types of things, and it's a, it's a uh, sign for uh, Columbia Masterworks, I believe. So anyway, there is that one there. And we have here, uh, we have Angela Lansbury Mamie. Um, or Mame, whatever. I don't know if it's Mamie or whatever. I guess that's Angela Lansbury. She never looked like that, but whatever. Um, so Jerome Lawrence, Robert Lee, Jerry... Oh, forget that one. Oh my gosh, we're getting some... Rid but, you know, this is just, you know, to let you know what's in here. If in case you're ever in the Salem area and want to get one of these crazy bags here. Brahms Concerto Number no. 2 in B-flat. Uh, so that's all that jazz. And then we have a Family Library of Great Music, Beethoven. You know, uh, the best thing to do with this Beethoven album is color in those eyes and do something with that uh, blank stare there. Uh, really just, that that has to go. But I will try to recycle the cover. So that was number one, and that was absolutely not worth the $3 I paid. So that's just, um, that was a chance I took. So I will keep the one album and dump the rest. But you know, I just have to move things along because if things just sit there forever, so I guess I'm a good Samaritan for buying this stuff here. This one here is about double or triple the previous one. Oh, I can't, I, oh, I can't even get it oh, out of the box here. Just insane. Oh, try to get this out of the box here. Oh my gosh. This was $3 for this. I mean, the cheapest store around is three for a dollar. This is basically a backbreaker. Oh my gosh. You know, they just can't get rid of these fast enough. I don't know if they have a... I'm going to rip this one open here. Okay. So, on the front one here, we have Farron Young. And if you like that kind of stuff there, this plastic is being a pain in the you-know-what. Uh, and also, it's done for dramatic effect. But, no, that is, that's legitness right there. Um, oh, my gosh. This didn't, plastic is really being... A pain here. All I have is a, a watch opener right now. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our buddies Fair and Young here, and I just grabbed a big one. You know, again, I don't really care. I really don't. This is just um, fun stuff here. So there's Fair and Young there with somebody's autograph. So Loreno Tucker or something like that owned it. Who knows? Fair and Young. So we don't care about that one. There's old Jimmy Dean with Luke Gordon. Might be a cool one. There's old Jimmy D right there, and we'll double check that's in there. So. Some of these country and western ones, um, people do actually want these, but they want them for zero dollars. Uh, so these country western ones, they want to hand deliver them to you. So we have country and western, Rex Trailer and the Playboys, and we'll see if that was in there. Unfortunately, what I've been doing is throwing some of the wrong ones. Oh, this is warped and melted. So that one goes goodbye. You know, the audacity of some of these people to donate things. Here's Million Seller Country Hits, uh, Two Great Hanks, and Not In There, so that goes goodbye. Kenny Rogers, they don't make them like they used to. He's not country music. Actually, he kind of looks like that guy from uh, uh, American Pickers. Um, oh, the Dave, the Silver Fox, or whatever, kind of reminds me of him. Um, but anyway, there's this one here, Time for Love, 20 years ago. He's just kind of a... A romantic or whatever so this might be good stuff here I'll have to double check and see if I really want to keep this one here then we have this one here I found the answer it's a word album uh, Jack Holcomb 
So, kind of looks like a 1950s era, early 60s. I uh, found the answer, long play. So the world's, the finest name in Frank, or sacred music. From Waco, Texas, okay, we got the Firestone. I haven't seen this Firestone one before here. And this is Five Star Fiesta. Uh, no Fiesta time this time, because it's an empty one. And we got uh, Hymns We Love, so Pat Boone. So I maybe they just decided to give me a bunch of Christian music and ones that don't have the records. And again, I try to, you know, do the best that I can is get the, you know, palaver out of the way. That's the word of the day, palaver. Now we have Cats at the UN, a special session of laughter with the delegate from Delancey Street. Absolutely no idea what the heck that is. Um, but it looks like it could be actually in there, but unfortunately it's not a gatefold. Or it's not supposed to be a gatefold, but it is now, whatever you want to call it. So there's that one there. It looks like the record's kind of dirty here. Um, one man's trash is another man's trash. So basically, somebody was too cheap to uh, throw this away. And, um, you know, and that's what I, one of the things that I want to say about, um, about all the communities that we're in. We need to basically kind of police the communities. You know, so if you see garbage, make sure it actually goes in the garbage. There's no sense in, you know, bothering people with a bunch of this trash here. It doesn't do anything. There's a Midnight Waltz, Wayne King, and I just got rid of a Wayne King album here. So I'll go, go through and double check and pull out all the inner sleeves and that fun stuff there. So that goes probably right there. And Cats of the UN, I just showed you the Jimmy Dean one, I believe. And then we're, we're still going. We're about, you know, a third of the way through this bag here. Now we have, oh my gosh. So again, I, I remember these uh, records being some of the worst ones here. Here's a nice red one if you like collect red albums. Um, here's the Gay 90s. Um, Crown Records in High Fidelity. And then um, we have Moscow with Love. Um, so uh, Joe Basile. Basile and his accordion and orchestra. Um, you know, some of these have really nice covers, but that's about it. And they're his country partners, uh, Loretta Lynn and Conway Twitty. I wonder if it has. Uh, let's see, don't mess up a good thing, love's not where it should be, two lonely people, I change that way. Let's see, spiders and snakes, getting that, uh, all falls down. I don't know, I, there's one that, it's only make-believe or whatever, uh, uh whatever that uh, version is. It's not. There's country bumpkin. So that's a good one there, maybe, maybe. It depends on how clean this is. I have a friend that likes country music, it's pretty dirty, so that needs to be um, burned or cleaned. Um, then we have a good old Andy Williams Deerheart. He's just very, very focused in each one of these pictures here. So Andy Williams basically goes in that pile there. Bagpipes and drums, my mom and dad like bagpipes, and so I, it's okay. Um, the 9th Regiment uh, NYG, whatever that means. Um, this is a study in stereophonic uh, high fidelity sound. Then we have country favorites, George Jones, uh, Claude Gray, Johnny, Country Johnny Mathis, Maggie Singleton, Margie Singleton, Leon Payne, Bill Mack. So it's really good stuff there. Um, but it's on Wincott or Wincote. It's on mono, so that might be something there. I really doubt it. Again, they um, take out all the rock records unless there's some sort of damage to them or whatever, or they miss them. And then, so there's absolutely nothing. We have Columbia Records Hall of Fame Volume 2, 52. All selections contained in this album are hit billboards in the top years of 1952. So, what was in 52? Oh, no. Doris Day, Johnny Ray, I Saw Mommy Kissing. Oh, my gosh. 52, that was not a good year. Um, then we have Torch Time, Gogi Grant. Uh-oh, Torch Time. Bye-bye. We got Montavani Moon River. Uh, I'm in a quiver for Moon River. My eyes are really itching right now. This is a big mistake. So my mistake is um, John Wesley Riles. I think that's who that is. Uh, let the midnight, let the night rain. So I'm gonna look that up. Um, kind of looks like a John Denver type guy right there without his glasses. There, I have no, no idea. Maybe he just looks like a real ladies' man there with the two ladies there arm in arm. I have no idea who he is. Um, Oh, no! Maybe he's a country musician. I don't know. Look at him there. Um, I don't know. He just, uh, uh, yeah, no. Heck no. But maybe he's good. Montavani Strauss Waltzes. Montavani uh, Songs uh, Hits from Theaterland. No. Not only no, but never mind. And, okay, oh, ooh, ooh, oh, hey. 
Hey, now now we're hitting the now we're hitting it. Now we're doing it. Now we're getting it. A British tournament and tattoo. Band and drums of the first battalion parachute regiment. Woohoo! Band and drum. Oh, never mind. This is just too cool for school. So that's probably one of the few I'm gonna throw away or save. I mean, uh, burn. I mean, uh, recite. Keep. Um, then we've got Roger Williams. Beautiful plays beautiful waltzes. I think Roger Williams is a piano player, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, I am mistaken quite often. That's on crap. I mean, cap. Uh, um, high fidelity. Boy, high fidelity is right. Hank Snow and Roy Acuff. Basically, what I might do with this one here is clip out that guitar and glue it on something. That's kind of a neat uh, guitar there, so I'll do something with that one there. And then um, the record cover has uh, left much to be desired. It's not much there. Not much left of it. It's on what crap was it? High fidelity of some. Yeah, see, so essentially that's what you need to do, and then get rid of the back of it here. Oh darn it, I ruined it. There's here the hits, the stars on capital. That's the best thing I've gotten so far here. And the cover, or the record is, is you know, loved. One more here, one more, Kate Smith at Carnegie Hall. You know what we do with that. Whoops, okay. So, Cats at the UN is probably one of the hits there, but unfortunately it is just roached beyond control. Um, it's got one of those famous capital sleeves here. The Capitol Tower Hollywood, and there's not much of that sleeve either. Uh, looks like there's some dirt and crud on here, and um, whoever had these uh, really did not take good care of their uh, records. I'll probably have to throw some more of them away that are probably warped and damaged, but again, Goodwill, I guess, is just um, avoiding uh, the trash, you know, and I just, I just basically got suckered into $6 worth of trash. So that is the video for today. It really stinks in here. I need to get this stuff out of here pronto, and thank you for watching.